Well, as viewers of my channel will know, I am in favour of proportional representation. What I'm not in favour of is these ridiculous month after month negotiations after an election to, to put a government together. As anyone who's used to doing deals knows, you know, you have to have firm deadlines to concentrate uh, minds. And it seems to me a one month deadline to do a deal to form a government or uh, calling on snap elections if a deal isn't done in time would be the way to go because you've seen after elections last year in the Netherlands, negotiations continue as to whether Gert Wilders, whose party won the most seats, will become the next Dutch Prime Minister or not. By the way, you have seen a Dutch court saying it charged two Pakistani nationals over public calls for the murder of Gert Wilders. As for whether he will become the next Dutch Prime Minister or not, well, we do know that Talks are continuing. They're continuing with the VVD Liberal Conservatives, with the new social contract, with the farmer citizen movement. We'll get onto them in a second. But the new social contract uh, leader, Peter Umzit, seems to be the main barrier to a deal being done. He seems very reluctant to support a Wilders led uh, government, saying it'd possibly support a cabinet from the sidelines but it would not join a majority or a minority uh, cabinet if it involves Gert Wilders' PVV party. On the other side of things, uh, one party that does seem keen to back Wilders is the farmer citizen movement led by Caroline van der Plas, seeking to avoid these crazy EU green rules. And van der Plas there, the leader of the farmer citizen movement, saying we want to form a new coalition, preferably with right wing parties. So they don't agree with everything that Wilders' party stands for, but he's withdrawn some of his uh, positions and proposals, and that gives them confidence for the future. And of course, the farmer citizen movement rising in opposition to some of this crazy green agenda, including this bizarre proposal to force farmers to sell their farms to meet EU green targets. And Van der Plaste is saying that Green Deal politics will mean the end of farming for many farmers in Europe. Uh, as for the current uh, Dutch climate minister, well, luckily they have international agreements, he says there, and claims that European policies narrow the opportunity for a Gert Wilders government to fully stop climate action. Well, the interesting aspect there, of course, is Wilders, if Wilders is the next Dutch PM, is he has called, is that his party is in favour of Nexit, of a referendum on EU uh, membership. But as ever, I'm interested in what Dutch voters make of all of this. And yet again, it's a pretty clear verdict that uh, Wilders' party, who won 37 out of 150 seats uh, at the last election, since then have actually increased their level of support. And you see there on 31%, a big lead over the Green uh, Labour Alliance in second place on 16% in the latest poll. But just look at this. If there was a snap election as things stand, Wilders' party had 37 seats out of 150, would go up to 49 seats, uh, an increase of 12 seats if there is a new snap election. So pretty clear verdict there from Dutch voters, but it remains to be seen whether other parties are willing to back a Wilders-led government in the Netherlands or not. Let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below, please, guys. I will, of course, keep bringing you all the latest on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.